All right, so peanut powder is pretty expensive. You probably want to find a better way to, to, to make it that's cheaper and also has no sugar. All you got to do is get these unsalted dry roasted peanuts. They're pretty much the Valencia kind and put them in a mortar and pestle and start really crushing them down. It turns into a bit of a peanut butter. It's, there's a little more fat in these crushed peanuts after you've gotten them crushed to a nice paste than the actual peanut powder. The peanut powder, they're able to remove the fats. So it's, it's a process that's a little unnatural, all right? So you really would want to steer clear from these, this peanut powder craze that's going on as people, more people are buying it because it's easier to eat and peanut butter gives people heartburn, peanut powder, peanut powder doesn't give me any heartburn, I never had any problem, but I've had a problem with peanut butter <clears throat> that's already in the jar. I don't have problems with peanuts in that are not crushed like this uh, with heartburn. Even when I crush them myself, they're fine. There's something with the process in making peanut butter for long-term storage in the grocery stores that cause it to give me heartburn. Some kind of process. And it usually seems to be towards the bottom of the peanut jar that's the worst problem. It seems like it's the driest, most pasty kind of peanut butter around and it causes health problems. So I gotta steer clear of it. I don't think peanuts are all that bad if they're prepared in the right way. And if you keep them in the fresh state in their whole peanut form, right before crushing, they'll hold on to their, their they'll, they'll, they'll not be exposed to oxidization quite nearly as much as when they're already put into the, uh, when they're already crushed into a peanut form. Right now I'm really exposing them to oxidization, having smaller surface areas, but that's okay. I'm about to, about to eat this right away anyway. As you can see, it takes a few minutes. You could add olive oil if you want, and sometimes I do, just to keep it all together, because this is a tiny, tiny mortar, and sometimes things get out pretty easily. If I had a bigger one, then the peanuts would be less likely to escape, like if I were to slip or something. I'm not going to lie, this does take some effort. you got to have some triceps for this. I switch arms. I only use this one technique too, this, this crush and, and roll. There, with herbs you can use a different crushing technique. With other things you can use a different crushing technique. Crush and twist, crush and roll. But it really turns into a nice peanut powdery, peanut buttery texture after a while. You just gotta put in the effort and that's what it's about. I mean, people talk about hunter-gatherers and how much time they had to spend to find their food, <clears throat> let alone the time and effort involved to prepare it. That's pretty good. It'll slow down your eating a little bit. <clears throat> and you get exercise. On top of that, you could do this while watching TV or something, listening to radio. I'm motivated to do it in my car, just kind of listening to what's happening around me and stuff. You could drive to a different location with this, with peanuts, with a, in, a, in a mortar and pestle, and just, when you're hungry, just start crushing away in a new environment. It's, it's kind of, a, it's kind of interesting. You enjoy the environment while you're also preparing food. Enjoy a new environment while you're preparing food. This is now at the point where it's become a more of a peanut butter pastiness. Okay, as you can see, it's a peanut butter paste. And I could continue on. This would be crunchy peanut butter right here. So, it's pretty decent to uh, do it yourself. And you save money, and you get more of a fresh, fresh kind of... Uh, peanut butter, peanut powder
and all that.